it is the orange stitches and I today will be completing So Oaks their uh, makeup tutorials and today I am going to be making like a how to look like a doll tutorial because I've seen a lot of them and I actually have some dolls on my shelves and they look nothing like the tutorials that you know people are teaching um they normally consist of like really big eyes and I noticed that a lot of Asian or Oriental um, people do this and I've tried what they do and so, but I do have a method on how to make your eyes bigger and I used to do this in ninth grade um, but I think it's more doe-eyed that people try to go for when they say the doll look because I'm looking at my dolls and I don't think they look like that <laughs> um, but I'm actually gonna do my lips first because they look like this they're all chapped and stuff. Um, this is Maybelline's baby lips. It looks like this. And I'm just gonna use that on the inside of my mouth. Okay, and then I'm gonna take, this is Laura to dye for gloss, I think. I don't know, the writing's kind of smudged off. And I'm actually gonna wipe it off like this because it, a lot comes off. This is cover girl. I don't know. That's all it says. Okay, there we go. It looks like this. You can't really see the color so well. But basically, this is darkest light, and this is kind of a reddish tone, and then this is a highlighter. But what I'm gonna do is take the first color, the highlighter, and put it all over my lids. Make sure I'm getting every single part of my This is by All May. Looks like this. And I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm going to use the tip of the application brush and glide it in it. And I'm gonna use this and accentuate my crease. And we'll blend this later. And here, I've got a little blender brush. It's not clean. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna blend in the harsh edges. Then what I'm gonna do is take the same blending brush and put that in the darker color, lightly, very, very light, and brush it on the outer corner of your eye. And curve it down, just very lightly down. Then you're going to take the shimmering color in this palette and take your, br your brush applicator and pat that in the center. I have no idea. Okay, this says Jane. And then this is called City Tones. And it's really, uh, this is like so old. I've had this forever. Looks like this. Um... And what you want to do is, this also comes with an application brush that is so old, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use my little blendy brush that I have used. Yeah. And I'm going to put that right on my arch. Well, not the actual brow, but the brow bone. Oh. Did I tell you I was taking the white? Well, I am. This white right here. Okay. And you 
just gonna brush that on your brow bone. Oh, I guess. This is just like basic, basic, <laughs> basic makeup that anybody can do. But here's my stretch look like a doll. So I've got this Maybelline Eye Studio. Um, it's gel liner and it comes with this brush. And instead of using it on that, what you can do is you can take water and put it on the brush and then use this color. Or you can line your eyes if you're a pro at it, unlike me. But I'm not good at it, so I'm just gonna, like, you can actually use the gel liner, but I'm not very good with it. So I'm gonna take this brown color and put it on the application brush and Extend the line downward. And then do the same on the other side. It looks weird now, but don't worry. It'll it'll get better. <laughs> okay, now for the bottom part. Instead of lining like normal, we've extended, so we're going to use that extension and fill it in. I forgot to do this earlier. Um, that's okay because I forget to do a lot of things. Um, I, I have no idea. This is by Maybelline, but I have no idea what it is. It's like, okay, Amethyst Smoke is what it's called. And it is horribly destroyed palette. There used to be a color there, but this white is really, 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 really shimmery, and I love it, and what I'm going to do is dab it on the inside and blend with my fingers instead of a brush, because my eyes are small, and you're going to bring it down. I guess I didn't forget to do this, because it does go around the black, well, brown in my case. Right here. We're almost done. Now, I've got this liquid eyeliner. And what I'm going to do is take it. And it can be messy. This is allowed to be messy because we're going to smudge it later anyways. And I'm just going to line my eyes. See how messy that is? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so now I kind of look like a sad panda. That's okay, because our eyes look bigger. But now I'm gonna take the same brush and blend all the black. See how much better it looks now? And um, A thing that you can do, which I mean it does help, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Basically, I'm going to take this application brush, and I don't know if this is great for you or anything. So I don't know if you should do it, but uh, I'm going to do it for you, so that if it is bad, you don't do it. But, okay, I'm going to try to do this without holding my mirror, because I need both my hands. Basically, I take this application brush with white on it, and I'm going to put that on my waterline. And it makes your eyes look bigger. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't burn. And actually, I can't put eyeliner on my waterline because it hurts. But this doesn't hurt or burn. Me, that is. I don't know about other people. Oh, I got it on my eyeball. I didn't feel it though. I just saw it. Um, but yeah, and I mean, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't burn, but I don't know if it's good for you, so. If I just did that and I get like eye cancer, which I, I'm sure is a real thing, then um, don't. Okay, 
it's an eyelash curler. And, and I'm just going to. There's a total difference between this lash and that lash. Power eyelash curler. My eyelashes, they were so curled, like, but it was bent downward and curling. Okay, I've got two of these that I use. I have no idea what it says because the writing has completely, almost completely come off of this. It just says that. And it's water resistant. And then I've got a CoverGirl one, Flash Blast Fusion. And it is also water resistant, and I use both of them. And now this one, which is like a creamier consistency, which is why I use it last because it, it that was just like a primer for me basically. And this one can make your lashes stick together, so I like to have them spread for it. works for you um they're uneven <laughs> oh well i don't care i'm not gonna fix them because i'm lazy and i'm not even going out today but if you if you do it unevenly it you, you just wipe it off and try again um so i hope that everybody enjoyed and so oh, this is weird because this is a weird because you're a guy and you asked me to do makeup tutorials and this leads me to believe that you dress up like a girl when no one's around and I will answer it in my FAQ video, so thank you a lot. How many times am I going to do that?